I am Chelsea R. Fashion or else, and welcome back to my channel for yet another video. Today's video is going to be something different from my channel. I decided I wanted to show with you guys what I just recently purchased. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, definitely go ahead and stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's go ahead and see what I just purchased. So, first up, you guys. Um, wow. Okay, so this item let's say i've seen it so many times on instagram so many different influencers have these items or have this particular item and like i haven't like i just started wearing earrings so um it was kind of hard for me to make this purchase yes indeed it was but i knew in my heart it was something that i really wanted and usually if i really want something and i've been wanting it for a while then I'll actually go ahead and purchase the item. So, hmm, this should have been a thumbnail. This is cute. Okay, before I actually get into the, don't want to really say unboxing because I've already worn these, but I just want to give you a little background. So, the luxury item that I did purchase is going to be the Louis Vuitton Louise Gold Hoop Earrings. Now, I've seen these I think I started seeing them like a lot, maybe the beginning of 2020, ending of 2019, something in that range. I seen a few ladies that I follow here on YouTube wear them. Then I started seeing them a lot on influences via Instagram. I love them. I would always say the post. I would say, okay, I'm going to get them. But I knew I wasn't really like a hoop girl. I knew I wouldn't wear them. And I just thought for that price... Do I really want these? Am I going to really wear them? The cost per wear, like I had to think about all of those things with spending such a large amount on some hoops. So it did take me, I'm not going to say, because at any moment I could have purchased the item, but I wanted to purchase them when I knew it was the right thing. I had went back and forth with myself like, so many times chelsea should you buy these should you splurge like and i've even purchased a dupe of these earrings just to see if i really wanted these fast forward i kept seeing them every time i will make that leap to buy them out of stock out of stock out of stock um i searched all websites i never found them for like a cheaper price like on the real real or fashion file i never seen anyone selling them and then when i did see someone selling them they were for like 900 dollars. might as well go to the store so yeah i did go ahead and pick up these earrings here here is the bag of course i already wore them and let's go ahead and take the box out now granted i just did this little situation for YouTube purposes, but yeah. And let me also put the envelope and everything out. So I purchased these, um, it was in March, maybe March, not exactly sure on the date. It may be in here, let's see. Mm, this is just saying thank you. Excuse me. This is just the returns. So yeah, this is just basically everything you get. Now, how I purchased these earrings. So I had to do them because online they were still sold out when I was ready to make the purchase. Um, I actually just called up Louis Vuitton. Um, they did tell me they were sold out, but I could still make the purchase. And I would be able to, they would ship to me once they were actually available. So the guy that I was speaking to that helped me get through my purchase, he did advise me it wouldn't be the best thing or the best choice to have them shipped to my house because someone would need to sign for them. And I knew between my work schedule, I probably wouldn't be at home to sign for them. So I agreed to collect them from the store. He told me it would take up to 21 days, which it didn't take up to 21 days. I think it may have took um, about a week or so. So, I purchased them, and maybe like a week or so, like I stated, they sent me an email, said, hey, you can go ahead and collect your item, and I didn't go right then and there. I think I went maybe a few days later, because they hold it for 30 days. So, 
Let's go ahead and get this open. Yeah, I am in love with these earrings. So, these are my babies. Now, I was super hesitant because, like, the size, they are super small. Even compared to the ones that I have on, I'll definitely link these below. Um, They're super small, but they're super stylish. One thing about it, they are not real gold, so do what you want with that information. For the price, I think they should have been real gold, but they're not. But I still love these earrings. They do come in silver. I'm not really a silver hardware girl, so I don't think I'll be purchasing them. But in case you do love silver, I will link those down below. So let me go ahead and get all of the specs for you. So it honestly slipped my mind that I didn't go in store to purchase these. I only went in store to pick them up. So I did go ahead and check my email just to get the retail value and the actual total that I paid for the earrings. So the retail value for the earrings are $715. Yes, you heard correct, $715. Too much for earrings, but when you like something, you do purchase it. So in all in all, the total came out to with tax they were $775.99 and just for FYI or reference I stay here in Texas so that's the tax the taxes via Texas so um I did go ahead and purchase them online well via phone online slash via phone because what I had to do was I was talking to the sale associate as I was talking to him he would email me information over when he would email the information I had to click on that and then I made the purchase that way because you don't give your email I mean you don't give your information over the phone you just do it through your email which I thought that was super great so I was okay with that Went ahead, filled out all of the information. Then he sent me a, a receipt via email, letting me know that it would be 21 days. I was okay with that because I wasn't in a rush. I wanted my earrings, but I knew at that point I made the purchase. So they're yours. You're going to get them. So I was okay. So I did finally go ahead about a week later, like I stated, pick up the earrings. I had to go into the gallery. Um, it was super simple one mistake i made was so due to covid and everything you have to stand in the line to get in like luxury type stores now or kind of like all stores when it's like over capacity so i wasn't able to get in the store right away but i did notice after i made the purchase you have a section where you could go and just do pickup so i wish i would have known that before i stood in the line for 30 minutes because who who has that type of time? So, went in, told them exactly what I was here to do. He went to the back. He asked for my name. He went to the back, got my earrings. I even got a sample of some perfume. And when I say it is the bomb, oh my God. This is going to be my next purchase. And I think the perfume retails for about 200 so that's not bad because oh it smells freaking amazing so that's going to be my next purchase but with these earrings you know it's damn if you do damn if you don't if you have the money and you honestly want them i would say purchase them but if it's not it's nothing that i would do again honestly because once I purchased them and came home that night, I was speaking with my mother and I was like, do you really think I should have did that? And her knowing me, she was like, no. She said, "But you, well, her words exactly was, but you've been wanting them, which I agree I did. But I was having like buyer's remorse at that time and... I don't know like I was really willing and waiting to be returned them the next day but of course I did keep them and they are just stunning like I just wish they were bigger that's like the only thing that I would say but I love them and if you wear hoops then this 
could definitely be an investment piece for me it's still an investment piece but i probably just won't wear them as much but i do love and adore these hoops i'll have them linked down below in case and then i will also have the other ones that i have that's a dupe i'll actually go get those one second y'all one second all right so i did go ahead and pick up the dupes for you guys so these are the lv louise earrings from the actual lv and then these are a dupe that i purchased i think i seen these on instagram so if i could find these i'll try to link these below let's do a comparison so the sizing is extremely different if you could see like with those on top you know they are different I never, ever since I purchased these, I never even worn them. I gave them to my mother because she wear earrings like all the freaking time. So she did wear these. She still enjoys them. She loves them. So, you know, it wasn't really like a, why did you buy that moment? Because I didn't get to wear them, but she did. So, you know there it goes so if you don't want to spend the 715 dollars these are definitely under 50 bucks and i mean they'll do they won't give you the actual like big effect but they'll still do and you gotta do what you gotta do and if this is what you have to do then let's just do that so yeah here's the two again just for referencing and like I said, I'll definitely go ahead and link both pair below. And that's going to be the end of the video. I know this one wasn't about fashion today, but the next one definitely will. Um, and to all of the people that are just recently subscribing, thank you so much. I'm glad you're here. I hope you're here to stay and welcome to Fashion or Else. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys would like to see from me. Um, I typically shop everywhere, so I have more hauls coming, more fashion videos in general, and just I want to know what you guys as my audience would like to see from me. So yeah, until next time, I hope you ladies or gentlemen did enjoy this short video. Um, another one will be coming soon. And until next time, you know, stay fashionable, stay fabulous, and stay fierce. Bye, y'all.